Hey, welcome back to Beer Geek Beer Reviews. And I've got another can review for you. Although this can looks like it has been dropped. Hmm. And no, I didn't get a discount price because this is Ohio. <laughs> um, I don't know how old this can is either, but I seen it and I was like, you know, hey, they make good beer. Let me give it a try. Um, this is going to be Lagunitas 12th of Never Ale. Yeah, 12th of Never Ale. Hmm. It's got a little tidbit story on the side, as you can see. Look, 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 look. look. Can. Look at the hell. What the? What the? Come on. Really? Really, dog? Mm -mm. Anywho, let's go ahead and try to crack this open and get it into the glass. I'm gonna, I want to find out what this beer holds. Mwah. And, you know, I, I don't mind canned beers because of the fact that, you know, freshness matters. But at the same time, you can't always trust the stores that you buy them in because of the fact that they sit on the shelf for God only knows how long and they don't freaking rotate right. Um, yeah, I don't know. It smells good from here. Huh? Well, I can't, like, set this on a pedestal or anything for you guys to see it. So I will just set it there. Um Nice, crystal clear, loads of carbonation. I see them streaming up from the bottom. This almost, it, it just off the top rip right here, this reminds me of a pale ale. I mean, just the, the, the way that the head is, the way that the color is, you know, just looking at it, I would subscribe or describe this beer as a pale ale. I'm even holding it off to the side, very crystal clear. Um, got still that... I, I wouldn't even call it like a golden ale, because if I hold it up, you can see how lightly colored this beer is. If most people didn't know me, you would almost think I would probably be drinking like a Bud Light or something. Um, never would I ever drink, not only Bud Light, but out of, no, no, that, that would not ruin my glass. Anywho, um, aroma. Loads of hops. I'm smelling grassiness. I'm smelling a little bit of like a grapefruit aroma. <sighs> Almost like a blood orange aroma. Apricot, papaya, mango. <sighs> Just loads of citra. You know, that really acidy citra notes from fruits. Um, let's go ahead and taste, shall we? Okay. Okay. Not bad. Very, very, very light and easy drinking. Um, I, I do get like a, a, the, the leftover of the drink, the back of the throat, I'm getting that lightly crackery bread crust, um, crackery malts. Um, but the star of the show is definitely those tropical fruit notes. Um, I'm still holding on to mango. I'm still holding on to like that papaya. I'm still holding on to like some uh, grapefruit. Definitely got a load of citra in here. Um, it's probably made with like Cascade, Centennial, Citra, Chinook. Um, your primary um, big, bold citra uh, aroma and, and alpha acid hops. Um, Columbus, uh, Zeus, um, if worked right, I mean Zeus is okay. Uh, but uh, there, there's more viable hops out there nowadays, uh, like citra. Um, still the big C's, um, all those citrus. Um, we'll get in there. Um, if I had to say anything at all, this is a really, really good beer. I don't mind this beer. It's a little light for me. I would have liked more of a mall body to it, but the way that they have done this is still not bad. Uh, it is still a very good sessionable drinking beer. I say sessionable drinking excuse me, by not even looking at the ABV on this beer, if they have it freaking printed anywhere. 
Oh, there it is, 5.5%. So yeah, I would, I would, you know, just by looking at the color and the taste and the flavors that have already happened, uh, you know, to partake in this beer, I would definitely, you know, call this out as a session ale. Um, it, it's really good. I don't mind it if I if if it's still around or if this is a year round one. I would definitely pick this up. I would say that this would be a really good session beer. <sighs> In the market of overhopped beers nowadays, though, uh, is there better bang for your buck? It's a possibility. I I, I don't remember how much I paid for this. I, I was doing um, some quick shopping at um, a, a, another local spot that I, I don't frequent as often as I should um, nowadays because they do you know, still get in some killer beer, um, but, I mean, hey, it's, it's not so bad to still check out the holes in the wall that you used to frequent, and then all of a sudden, a bigger, better, better store, um, seemed to open up elsewhere, um, so, with that said, man, peace, pros, deuce, and as always, rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up if you like this video, um, Thumbs down if you disliked it, or if you disliked the beer. Uh, it's not going to be for everybody. It is very hoppy. It is very, you know, fruity forward. Um, whether or not it actually has any fruit in it at all, you can just generally pick those flavors up from the hops. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this beer. I don't mind it. I, I, I would definitely give it two thumbs up, and I would say that this is a, it's definitely a keeper. Um, but as always, uh, I, I'm feeling very amped and very uh, ready to take charge, and I win. So with that said, I will see you guys again later, man. Peace.